All right, guys. So came home today. This box is on my steps. Let's see what's inside. in a box. Yeah. Seriously see what it is. Oh, hopefully they didn't send me the blue one. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, let's see. I ordered a red one. Oh, it should say on the side, right? Oh, yep. It's right there. Mark. Blue. Red. Blue. Got it. Dude, they didn't have the option for the tan one. I would have went for the tan one. Denied. Yeah. Straight up. They're like, nah. How's that drag slash running for you? Oh, uh, it'd be nice if I had enough room to run it. Huh. Just too fast for the street. Oh, this thing is sick. You ready? Oh, hell yeah. Tent scale. Traxxas TRX4 Sport in red. Nice. Oh. Check out that body. It's not gonna look that nice for long. It's not gonna look that nice after the first outing. Oh, it's body pins too. Now they said something about these making hella noise and rattling and stuff. Now I know of these little foam rings that go around here and they usually just stick onto the body posts and that prevents, you know, all that noise. <clears throat> some will order some of those. I might have some laying around. Man, we gotta we gotta get the drift cars back out. Yep. Sitting there. All right. Go. So here we have a Basic crawler. Uh, this thing's pretty dope. What do we have underneath? Oh, nice. We got portals. Got some nice big bearings in there. Got some good sized drive shafts. Center drives. Look like they have some hefty teeth on them. Or some hefty splines. Those portals look good, dude. Look how many screws they got down. Jesus. <clears throat> what do you think, John Boy? Think you're gonna go a 10 scale? Nope. All right, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna be as fun. It's gonna make everything just super easy. Same shit as the XL5 HB. I had one of these before. I had the TRX4 blazer the orange one with the white top that one was pretty sick i got rid of it though stupidly should have kept it i think probably would have been sick by now <clears throat> but yeah there it is oh fully adjustable shocks let's get that sag in there get that cg low get it dialed see how plush we can get on the fly nice. yep yep it's pretty plush notice that spring right there it's topped out so a minimum we want to run them That'd be like your maximum or your minimum. You don't want any play in the springs. All right. Mm, 
feel those tires, dude. They're soft, but yeah, too little, firm. A little oily, though. Need get a new set. Pull the foams out. <clears throat> Run them foamless. They said something about these need a break-in period too. Like, the longer you drive it, the better they get. But they're only gonna get so good, you know. I got a. This thing is supposed to be three S capable. So we have a. Oh yeah, there we go. We have a three S lipo charging right now for it. Check it out, made in Taiwan. Like everything else. Yep. Taiwan USA. We got some pretty cool bumpers. Like a little spot for a little license plate. Three D print something. Yeah. Look at that. Oh. You know what that means? That means we're gonna have to get a trailer. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to get a trailer. And then we'll tow all the little 24 scales out to the spot instead of carrying them. There we go. Be an extra, extra. Just wasting money. Yeah. So you bought this just to tow the, the 24 scales? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> nah. Nah. Actually, uh, I have a whole Amazon cart full of like my first round of my first wave of mods that I'm gonna throw at it. And the first thing I'm gonna go with is actually... The winch? No, I ain't going with the winch. No. You ain't going with the scale winch? Oh man. No nah, man, look at that sticker, dude. That's all you need. Right there. Uh, I have some brass portals that are in my, my cart right now. I have some brass diff covers. Um, I think I had brass caster blocks in there too. And there's another thing that I have in there. It's a brass front bumper bracket and servo mount. So it'll move this servo up further over the front axle and it'll put a lot of weight in here with that brass. And it basically flops the servo around and then your servo sits in here. So you're putting a lot more weight over that front axle and that's good for climbing. Um, and I, I think that thing's like 135 grams or something. Like, it's ridiculous. Uh, what else do I have? I don't know. I got some other stuff in there. Oh, I have brass links, too, in there for this thing. So, but I, they're not, actually, you, you would just unscrew these and you use the same rod ends. And then... Um, it's just a brass right here and it's threaded and they replaced the uh, stock ones. So, man, this thing's sweet. This is, this is like exactly, almost exactly how the blazer was set up, but, uh, it's been a while. It's, it's a little different, I think, but the sliders and everything is super wide. The blazer body came out and there was like a, a pretty decent sized gap between the slider and the body so it's kind of annoying but let's see how this is oh, I see. oh that's cool yeah it's got a little slot look at a slot for the body to stay into or like a little lip. They get hung up, that's nice. Yeah, Some nice sliders. Full run, all the way through. Thing's got good ground clearance, check that out. And a lot of the, uh, well, some of the cheaper crawlers, like in your 200, uh, 250, 300 range, some of them will actually have like a bump right here and that's that's bad you want this to be as flat as possible um there's one guy out of sunnyville remember that guy's name no we have to look it up yeah well, there's one guy out there um he's all over youtube tons and tons of crawlers actually I, I watch him for information um he's got some super super badass rigs and you guys you should check that guy out Damn, what's his name, dude? I have to find it on a link and probably link it in the description. Yeah, but he's got one of these, and you know he did the review on this right out of the box, no mods, nothing. You know, same color, I think everything. And 
we sat down, we were watching that video the other day, and then right then and there, I was like, boop, order. So, I can't wait to get this thing out. This battery's almost done. I think me and John Boy are gonna head out. John Boy's over here currently trying to, what are you trying to do, TIG weld? Uh, I TIG welded those stainless steel axles because they're garbage out of the package. The, the pin slides in and out of the inner shaft for the front. So we'll see if it works. If not, I'm about to order some, uh, what is it, Yabros or? Yeah, I think those are the only ones. That yeah, look like another brand that pins don't they had float. decent reviews. I can't find any stock ones, that's the problem. So if I could find stock, I'd go back with stock because they lasted as long as they did. Oh, uh, shit. Hey, you can flip these two for larger packs. Uh -huh. So you got a 23 and a 26 mil. Yep. That's how that setup on the drag slash is. Oh, yeah? Flop it for the 2S if it's smaller or the 3S. Nice. Hey, we're gonna have to get a. We're gonna have to get some footy of this for the channel. Yeah, we gotta find a decent area to run it, cause it it eats ground fast. I mean, it it doesn't even have the party gear, and it's probably doing about 60 on a 3S. Nice. But yeah. Hell yeah. 24 scale on the back of it, you know. Hell yeah. Strap it down like a dirt bike. <laughs> All right, so, guys. What was the damage on this? Uh, I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It was, it was like 369 and all said and done, it was like 15 shipping. And it, I don't know, it was around like 410. So basically one of your SCX24 builds. Yeah, With pretty truck. much like a whole <laughs> SCX24 build. Yeah. Well, plus truck. Yeah, plus truck. So... Yeah, this thing's sick, dude. I can't wait to get it out. Uh -oh. Alright, let's check on the battery. 